How to find your internal and external IP address. To find your internal IP address, you want to go to Start and either click on Run, especially for those of you who are using Windows XP, or go to Search and type in CMD. And that'll open up the command prompt. The next thing you want to do is type in IP config and hit enter. Now if you're connecting through a cable, an ethernet cable, you're going to be looking for your ethernet adapter. Uh, if you're connecting wirelessly, then you want to look for your wireless um, adapter. And in my case, I'm connected through ethernet, so what I'll do is I'll go ahead and look for my IPv4 address. And there we go, 192.168.1.188. That is my internal IP address. If you have a server going and you want people who are connected to your, your local network, your home network, that's the address that they would use to connect. Now, if you're looking for your external IP address, what you want to do is go to Google and type in, what is my IP? And once you hit enter, Google will tell you right here what your IP address is, your public IP address. And that'll change depending on who your internet provider is. Um, some internet providers will give you an address almost, you know, weekly. And some will, you know, give you the same address for months and months and months. Uh, but no one public IP address will stay the same forever. And this is basically what you would want to use Oops. This would be the address that you would have people connect to you with from outside of your home network. Um, so if you have a server that's already port forwarded, then just give them this address and they'll be able to connect.